Hi friends, in my previous session, uh, we have seen how the front-end applications are aligned to the back-end tables and how the source and staging tables are designed by the database architectures. Uh, also, how we get the requirements from clients on reports that are used for their business analysis. So, in this session, we will uh, go covering really what is the need of SQL Server database and uh, what are the interesting things that uh, we can we need to know while working in real time on SQL. So the first question is why do we need SQL Server? So from the front end applications, we will uh, load the data into our back end tables uh, that are available in this uh, SQL Server. In the sense that here, the SQL Server will, will act as a storage or a repository for the database objects uh, that are used in the front-end applications. It's a kind of container also, we can say. So on this, the interview question will be like, uh, so in SQL Server, there are multiple types of uh, editions and they might ask you on which edition you have worked in your recent project. So here we can see the types of editions on SQL Server. The mainly used in the real time are Enterprise Edition, Standard Edition, Developers Edition, and uh, Express Edition. So what are the difference between these editions? Let's see. So in Enterprise and Standard Edition, we have some extra features on administration related tasks, like uh, much more security we can uh, provide to the users. Uh, similar kind of stuff and in real time for development environment say we have production and development and testing environments so for the development environment we will go for with the developers edition or express edition as much security is not needed and the license uh, cost is also less whereas for production in terms of security and memory uh, usage it will be occupy a lot and so we go for high security and more performance wise better uh, enterprise and standard edition so if you want to see really on which version you are working you can use this command select with global variable at the rate of version and here if you see it right now i am working on microsoft sql server 2012 uh, version that is version and here it is enterprise edition which we have discussed here so also if you want to know on which server you are working currently so you can uh, execute this command select at the rate of server name here you can see that my computer name is Trinath which is also took as a server name as a default and when you are connecting to the database or server here you will give that server name. So next, uh, what is this SSMS? As we dis as I mentioned in the top, saying that uh, it's a kind of container or a storage or repository uh, regarding the database objects that are used in different end applications and for reporting and analysis purpose. So uh, in interview, they may question like what on which version of SSMS you worked or what is your SQL Server Management Studio version. So don't get confused, like they both are same. One is short and one is full. So in general, uh, here we can go with command-based operations. I mean, here you can write the commands and execute. And also graphical user interface based uh, actions can also do. So whatever here you are doing using the command, the same thing using this uh, with mouse also you can do the same by like navigating into the database or, uh, or renaming the tables or changing the metadata structure inserting or updating we have both the options command based operations and gui so here we have two sub components in our ssms one is object explorer here you will uh, get the list of uh, objects like databases tables procedures code and uh, uh, admin and developer activity stuff and the next one is query editor uh, he, here the page which i am in is the query editor where i can, I can run the command and uh, execute based upon the need so if you uh, by mistake if you close this object explorer again you can go back to the view and bring it back uh, not to worry about that so so is ssms is installed in your mission and if you want to open that uh, you can go with the run command by pressing windows plus r at a time and 
type SSMS and press center automatically this window will get open and uh, so coming to the next what are the types of databases we have seen what are the additions we have on which server we are working currently so what are the databases in that server so by default we have system databases uh, and some sample databases like uh, adventure and adventure data warehouse that can be available in google and you can install and start exploring yourself and user defined databases those are the databases created by developers uh, based on their requirement so creating a user defined database so you, how can we create a user defined database as i mentioned earlier we have two options one is using through gui and another one is using three query let's see uh, with the gui here you can go on databases right click uh, new database so here you can give the name and uh, you if you are aware you can work on this but simply you can give the name and click ok automatically it will create the database using uh, uh, GUI and if you want to create a database with some query here is the syntax create create is the one used to uh, create a new database objects which are not existing and the names will be always unique throughout the server or database at least so yeah, so I want to create a database with the name Krishna skills under demo and I am executing this command um, it got created so if you see now it is not there we have krishna skills underscore dev uh, let me refresh this server and expand the databases now you see krishna skills demo is got created using the query command so if i expand this krishna skills underscore demo see all the database objects like tables views procedures everything automatically by default a uh, structure is created how the structure is created is uh, in the system databases we have master and model where there is a template of the databases with uh, default tables and uh, coding so whenever you create a database this ssms will go to that uh, system databases and get the template of this and just it like, acts like a copy and paste in simply to understand if you have a original document you can make multiple xerox copies of that similarly here the original copy will there and when you create a database um, from here the xerox uh, copies like databases will be created so i created a database and if i want to rename the database using the mouse you can go here and rename uh, or else using a command if you want to do here is the syntax and code sp rename db old database name to new database name now here it is krishna skills demo but i want to rename it as krishna skills underscore prod let me execute this so now let me refresh so if i see so krishna skills underscore demo is now renamed to krishna skills prod so uh, i want to drop a database so i am done with that analysis and or i want to decommission and no more want to waste my memory so simply i can go with this uh, drop database database name so if you see right now i am here i am having krishna skills underscore dev but when i execute this after it will just disappear from the server see here no more that krishna skills dev is there super so let us go forward and if you see here now uh, it is in my master uh, database I, I can go here click on the drop down and select the required one or else simply i can use this command use database name so that it will automatically jump into uh, my needed database and if you want to see currently on which database you are working you can go with select db underscore name it will give the database name on which you are working so really in practice session these don't play a much role but in real time you have a number of databases and uh, there you it's not possible to go with uh, gui and at the time definitely you will find the uh, necessity of this command so i will always suggest you to go with the command from the beginning stage so in real time you don't face any uh, surprises or challenges so this sp underscore help is a predefined procedure it will return the list of predefined objects provided the master database to a user defined uh, database so 
as i said when we created a database on our own uh, then these uh, ssms will go and he uh, get the original copy from here and just paste it here so this sp underscore help will give uh, returns the list of predefined objects that are created from master database so you can just execute on your own SSMS and see what are your findings and let me know in, in the comment section so that I can help you in more. And uh, SP underscore help DB. This uh, procedure will provide the list of databases available in the SQL server. Say here if you see I have the list here but in real time there will be a number of databases that you cannot see in the single screen. Then by simply executing this uh, SP underscore help DB you can get all the list of databases that are available and even if your reporting manager or lead asked you to provide the list of databases simply you can execute this and copy this into excel or in a mail and share him so uh, our next step is uh, so there are some basic info that we need to know about our database that is uh, how much memory it is occupying and what are the uh, master and log files created on that so for that you can simply execute sp underscore help db uh, the database name which you want to know the size and the uh, file specifications in real time this is a very important why because we have multiple environments like uh, production development and testing and for production we always queue a uh, maximum uh, memory since the volume of data is very huge and for development and testing we will give uh, less space so for the one who are keeping the resume more than five years for all of them this plays a key role in the interview point of time we will cover in detail about this in our later session so please stay tuned and uh, going so right now we have covered what are the server objects and what are the databases how to create and how to navigate uh, and what are the things we need to know from these commands and uh, what is sql sql is nothing but it's a structured query language which is used to communicate with the database server so using gui you can do some operations like you have uh, say for example if i want to select the uh, select start from table name simply i can go with this i can like instead of using update or insert i can go with this um, but you know it's there are some limitations here but in in order to communicate with this database server in it acts as a mediator uh, like structured query language in which really the ssms will understand our uh, uh, commands it's just a kind of uh, communication in between uh, the developers and the database server so sql server again it will consist consist of the following sub languages uh, they are dml uh, data manipulation language data definition language tcl and uh, dcl in interview they might ask you the full form or the short form so don't get confused and be aware on both so here like uh, the, the backend tables we need to create in our sql server and the procedures uh, and also if you want to create any database object which is not existing in your database then definitely we should know about uh, create and what is the syntax of that for creating a table or view or a processor whatever it is and once you create it and if you want to change the metadata of that object say for example if you want to add a column or a remove a column or if you want to change any data type from integer to numeric or from date time to date um, and if you want to change the length of the field from worker 20 to worker uh, 45 something so if you want to change the code of the procedure based on the latest requirements uh, like that what you have created and you will use alter to update the metadata or structure of that object and uh, truncate if you want to remove the data totally uh, to zero records then you will go with truncate and if you want to create that if you want to drop that created any database object like table database whatever it is view procedure you can go with the drop command so data definition language it will uh, works on the database object metadata or uh, structure of it but uh, data manipulation language here it deals with the data in the table so here you created a table and using insert you can insert the data into table and uh, using update say now i am staying in uh, chennai and in next year i am moving to bangalore so my city 
needs to be updated for my record then you can go with update and if i am no more in the organization and for you it doesn't make any sense of having my information then you can go with the delete so here the difference between delete and truncate is very important in interview point of time and in transaction control language this is a very good concept and in production environment definitely everyone should know this so i i do some changes in this and when i am trying to close this it will ask me to save uh, sr no in a similar way when you execute a command like insert or update by default sql has a behavior of uh, auto saving that but in production once you updated and if any mistakes are happened then you definitely cannot roll back so uh, we will go with these transactions and we execute the command and we will check the data and if it is fine then only we can commit or else we can have an option of rollback using these transactions and I will explain in detail about in my upcoming sessions which is very important in the real time production working. So data control language here the name itself sounds as a control so the, it's mainly to the uh, DBA guys like admin guys. Uh, so they can act, give the grant to particular schema or particular database and uh, if they want to retake it they can use revoke and if they want to deny they can go with the deny uh, command so if you know the purpose of uh, this one they are really very easy to get the syntax and you can execute on your own but if you won't don't understand that real then really the simple things will also break your head so please mention in comment if you want to go in detail about anything i will definitely uh, help you in that so here we have say for example this is my practice uh, database so here i have just four to five tables which i can able to view but when you go to real time there are more than uh, 100 plus of application tables really which you need to frustrated of scrolling them top to right to see which table you want so you can just connect to the uh, go to the database and you can go with using select start from sys tables um, so that you can get the list of uh, tables in that so if if you want any particular table you are looking for you can apply this in where condition where table name equal to something x and you can get that particular table and so in general in real time how you will get the requirement is uh, you are reporting uh, person will say uh, hey Krishna can you uh, update the data type of this column coming from this table so you definitely should know uh, the table is exist in which database in general in real time they won't give you the clear requirements or spoon feeding they will just say uh, hey Krishna can you update this column data type coming from this table so you can use this command select star from sys tables whatever the table you want you can put it in filter condition and you can go with this next uh, select star from sys dot columns where the object id in the sense here the table uh, what is the object id that you can mention here in this condition and the columns of that particular object id will only come and you can see what is the data type associated to that and what are the length is that so you can easily uh, change the requirement and you can say hey mister my task is completed please review and next uh, select name from sys object so all these tables and columns will come under sys objects we can have individual like sys.table sys.column sys.procedure sys.views you can just explore them uh, but this is like a common repository of objects so if you give x type equal to u then it is nothing but your user defined tables which is similar to this and if you give x type equal to yes then only system tables will come and if you give this where condition with v then user defined views will come so going to next to display structure or definition or metadata of a table so here if i want to see the structure here i can go and click on columns i can see uh, what are the columns and data types and the properties assigned to that but in real time I have multiple tables with each table having some hundreds of columns then it's a, again frustrated work for me to go like this one by one instead of that if I can execute this command the same thing I will get and simply if I can apply the filter condition something like that exporting it into excel uh, then my work will become a smart work or else it will be a hard work for you and coming to this data query language classes here we have select so 
so in select we can put directly star which will give say all the columns in the table or view or function but it's not a suggested way in terms of performance point of view so we will always suggest you to go with the list of columns that are really you needed in the result set and also you can provide the alias names to the columns say in uh, employee in my member table i have member id but in my report i want to show it as a student id then i can uh, mention some name like uh, student id uh, as alias name to the member id of the base field like literals you can have say for example uh, he, these are the literals in the sense some hard coded one uh, select sql server 2015 but in report you will get the requirements like this actually this is my first name this is my last name and this is my city but in report the client wants to show as uh, that particular person is living in which city then you can use the literals and uh, fulfill the client requirements and the next thing is you can also go with the math expressions say instead of using calculator if you are very much familiar with sql server then whatever the operations you want to do the mathematical operations you can simply uh, write it in a command and execute here and get the output it in instant time um, so the though the and functions like uh, user defined functions or uh, system defined functions we can use in the select so the classes that we need to follow are uh, select from where group by having order by so we will see in our next session in detail what are these classes and what are the difference between wearing and having and really how to use the group by so always the select statement will execute from left to right so performance point of view this is a very important uh, uh, question that uh, the panel members will ask you so in general how the uh, server will execute our uh, sql command that we have uh, given to that first it will check the syntax whether uh, the column names are uh, any brackets are there or any special characters are there just see here if i remove that bracket some underlined red color is coming saying that the syntax is wrong so that our uh, first step it will check the syntax and if the syntax is correct then no more red lines will be there uh, and next step it will compile the query so it will check really whether this table name is exist in that particular database and particular columns which are under select or where uh, group by those particular columns and tables or database objects are really available in the database so it will generate the execution plan so how we said here it will start from left to right for that it will generate the execution plan and it will uh, throw the output once you click on the execute button so this is also very important in terms of interview for the one who keep their resume more than three plus of experience next uh, here we have said like column alias so these are some of the points regarding to that one which are very interesting you can go through this uh, and these are some of the examples say if i want uh, instead of giving star if i give first name and last name terms of performance and if i want to give some static columns i can go with this so in my table i have 12 records so 12 uh, fixed values are prompted and uh, I, I can use uh, something like this as well and uh, if i use this uh, something output so you can just play with all these examples to build some hands-on experience in the simple simple scenarios so finally the column names uh, the with the table always when you write a query sql code there should be some gap between the keywords and the column table or column names which are having spaces should be see here the column name is having space then definitely they should keep in a square bracket or in a double quotes to avoid the uh, syntax error thanks friends uh, stay tuned for more updates and please mention your comments in the comment section so that i can try to help you in better way thank you